Cancel culture, puppets, props, puns, podcasts. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cancel Culture. Hey, we're about to have another one of our weekly segments, What's in the Box? So let me introduce you to the box master himself. Master of boxes. Okay, master of boxes. Okay, I got it wrong this time. Okay, box master. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Kensel. Hey, everybody. Thanks for uh, uh, several people that uh, live in my car think this is their favorite part of the show. All right. Uh, now, it's uh, usually a box, but now this is a... Uh, you take a back seat to no one, okay? God people living in your car. Um, this is a... There's, there's not a puppet in here. And, uh, but we'll see what's wait, in here. Wait, let me, do you uh, know what's in here, John? I, no, let I don't. me, let me try to mm. guess what's in here. Okay. Yeah. A, a football. <laughs> a football. Uh, no, a, a tricycle. No, I'm, I'm not getting it, John. I'm just seeing a, a tube. It, th- th- this is kind of a, Oh, it was a hamster. <laughs> the, the segment's <laughs> over. Uh, I think that this end here, uh, oh. <laughs> it's not breathing. The uh, hamster died. All right. Oh, I knew it was something that uh, could be put in that round container. Oh, it's, it's two photographs. It's two photographs, and photograph number one is, okay, Larry Storch, ladies and gentlemen, and Larry Forrest Storch. Tucker. Uh, that was from a 70s uh, Saturday morning show called uh, The Ghostbusters. Yeah, it was called yeah, the Ghostbusters yeah. before and, Ghostbusters, and it, and it had Mr. Larry Storch and uh, from F Troop. They yeah. were uh, put back together again. And the guy up they had a, a, a monkey, a gorilla sidekick who wore a beanie on his head. And here, John, uh, were you, were you related to him? Because that's it. Sounds like everything that uh, pa- yeah, I'm, th- I'm just saying. That's how I swing. Okay. Uh, but they, uh, <laughs> but uh, cheetahs. <laughs> The, Sorry. The, the gorilla mm-hmm. uh, was the same gorilla suit that was in all the Three Stooges movies. It was the same guy. Uh, an I old knew, veteran and, actor. Yeah, uh, it, it was a guy who did the best, uh, and he was, uh, he did all the work on Gilligan's Island, yeah. too. He, okay? And, uh, Abbott and Costello, Three Stooges, probably. He he, he the, had the monkey suit. Yeah, and what I, what I think I read about, too, was... Uh, he built a suit when he lived in Los Angeles, uh-huh. and he got steady work for the next forty-five years. I, but uh, I, you know, uh, who uh, has a, uh, uh, you know, besides myself and yourself, I, I think you got a, uh, a gorilla outfit, yeah, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, you know, when I, <laughs> I wore, I wore the body part, but not the head part, and, and everybody thought I was an Italian visitor. But um. <laughs> The guy works. How about okay? <laughs> how about the rumors about uh, uh, you know, For- right? Forrest Tucker right there. <laughs> no, yeah. John, stop that. He had his tubes tied. <laughs> Whoa! The eclipse. Uh, Forrest Tucker was supposedly well endowed, and, and yeah, uh, and uh, he and uh, Milton Burl. He and Milton Burl had it out with each other one time, yeah. and uh, uh, I think it was uh, Jack Carter. No, no. Uh, uh, Lou Costello would uh, egg him on with yeah. a lot of money because yeah. Lou had a lot of money, and he would egg him on to, you know, all right, let's, you know. Yeah, show, show, show how big yeah, you are. 28, but, 28, 28, um, 28. Now, we had, we had mentioned earlier Gilligan's Island. Uh, there was a guy named Paul Hennings who came up with the idea because people loved Southern, uh, up, Southern, what do you call it, uh, country people shows. Mom, pa, kettle, real popper. Uh, it took people who lived in the cities away from their life to watch these eccentric characters prance about. Paul Henning. And the people from the Midwest could identify with, uh, and South uh, could identify oh. with the uh, people. Hee Haw and Andy Griffith Show. They were just well loved country folk who, even though they might look like rubes, uh, but they, uh, they had hearts of gold and they were much smaller than their evil city counterparts. Ginger from Gilligan's Island was on uh, Hee Haw Gals or oh. something like that. Well, Hee Haw, Hee Haw Honeys. There, well, this guy Paul Paul Henning uh, came up with the idea for the Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah, and uh, you know they had different names before too. Like the, the he Be- was a comedy writer, and uh, I actually have his autograph uh, from that Bob Hope uh, 
memorabilia oh, that I cool. found. Uh, he was one of the writers. Like the whole cast signed the, uh, oh. this uh, the uh, program, and uh, Bob Hopes was on uh, on the cover, and he was on tour with these people. But you know, it's a uh, he was one of the writers. This ball hunting, he, so, he, so he wrote country jokes for Bob Hope. Like I gotta tell you, you yeah. ever have sex with your daughter? <laughs> no, uh, but he. Uh, uh, but he so his very popular shows are huge. Um, the Beverly Hillbillies and the uh, Green, Green Acres and the other one too. Uh, uh, Petticoat Pe- Junction. Petticoat Junction. Well, I forgot how I got this, but he had all three shows uh, for thank- that's it's a Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to put uh, that yeah. right over here. You can see it better. It might be a glare with the. Uh, this is something that was in the box. Oh, pull, pull back to me a little. Oh, look at that. There's Miss Jane and Buddy Epson. But see the guy on the, on the, with the hat next to Mr. Drysdale? He, on, the, on, on, on my side. On the, uh, oh, okay, Eb. Yeah, that's Eb. That's an autograph of Eb from, who passed away last year. He was the funniest one on yeah. Green Acres. There's and, Eb right over yeah. there. Yeah, and there's a, Mr. Mr. Drysdale. Mr. Drysdale, that's a TK. Oh, yeah, played by Raymond Bailey. Uh, Mich- lost in space. That's right. Um, uh, but, but there's oh, the woman in the red oh, right there behind Mr. Drucker. Right. That's uh, Miss Jane. Edgar Buchanan, who was an actor. Edgar yes. Edgar Buchanan, and he was Uncle Joe, who was moving kind of slow at the time. But, uh, but the lady in the red there is Miss Jane, played by Nancy Culp, the tall one behind Miss Sam Drucker. Right, she was from she was from Pennsylvania. And she was uh, she was in Hitchcock movies. Yes. I mean, she was, uh, and she was in uh, Sabrina, and she was in and a lot of different movies. You ever see her? Chief. <laughs> I, I guess she was a little typecast. Well, in real life, she enjoyed tennis. Yeah, well, and she ran for. Uh, well, in Pennsylvania. All right, she ran for a, 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 a not governor, but a you know position in, in Pennsylvania politics. Buddy Epson cut a commercial. He was a big right wing guy for her opponent, and he and it's a famous commercial. Max Bear. He had a recently recent birthday. Max Bear Jr. Yeah. Um, his father was a, uh, a world class uh, boxer. Right. He famous in the movie Cinderella Man. Yes. I think people were getting sick. Uh, beautiful people here. Beautiful people. Uh, um. But uh, that's it for this week's What's in the Box and What's in the Tube. I'm John Kensel. Please tell your friends, share it. What's in the Tube? Yes. And that's it. Very good.